gentlemen, and as always, thank you for watching. Uh, today, we get the pleasure, the honor of helping out the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers uh, over at a lock and dam system. Uh, we've got a generator that we're going to lift and set so that they can haul it out. Uh, should be a fairly straightforward job. Got a little bit of a drive, but that shouldn't be a problem. Here we go. Alright ladies and gentlemen, we are turning on the road towards the lock and dam that we are supposed to be at. If you look on the map here, that's the Ohio River. We're on the, uh, I guess, the east side of southern Illinois. Yeah. Yeah. What's going on? I assume that's my uh, that's my pick. Target. Yep. All right. Is that the trailer we're putting her on? Yes, sir. Okay. So are we going to need to lift and swing it then? However, well, you uh, tell us. However you pick, either on the front of your truck. I don't know if you can do that or basically over the back, probably. Uh, if it's twenty thousand, as you guys said, I can pick it and swing it. Do what? It's eleven. 11,000? No, 11, yeah, 11,000. 11,000 pounds, okay. We had anticipated 20,000 is what they told us. Uh, what are these straps rated at? That concerns me. Is it? Yeah. Okay. 12,400. 12,4 in a basket, okay. There, Do it. Ah, uh, Jackson Lodge. Oh. 411. Bay City. 771. All right, got everything disconnected there. So the whole pedestal and everything will come up. Yeah, yeah. 
Okay. Do y'all mind if we video while we do this? Or is that okay? Didn't know if some police, some places are okay with it. Some, some places. It's what now? Decommission. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, yeah, if it's only 11, 11 K, that shouldn't be an issue. I can, I can either pull up in here or I can back up in here, whichever suits you. Pick it up and swing it, set it wherever. You got 360 picking on that? Yes. Yeah, that's 360 continuous on that. So as long as we can get enough height with those the straps that you've got, won't be an issue. Uh, what are your clevises rated at? Crosby, 12 ton working limit. Okay, we're good. Always like to check the rigging, sorry. No, you're good. This is, this is your it's our safety guy right here. Okay. I'm Ron. Nice this is David. Come on over, David. Uh, nice anytime, anytime you deal with these guys, you go through a safety briefing. Uh, he's a safety manager, so. That's what we'll do now. Uh, so this is something we've done this morning, the plan for our AHA. We'll go through it and sign it. Um, so we've already accessed the site, we've disconnected the electrical, um, we're about to configure the, the crane for the pick, we don't have any power lines in the way. Uh, will your outriggers be going out off the pavement any into the ground or? Uh, I, I have a, my front outriggers have a 21 foot spread, my rear outriggers have a 19 foot spread, so it depends on, yeah, it'll be off. Yeah, I'll be off, off the pad. We'll have to watch that, get some crane mats down under them or something. Okay. I've got I've got cribbing and stuff, um, and again, it depends on where you want me to lift it. If you want me to lift and swing it around behind me, I'm not sure exactly how you want to do it. If I were to nose up into here, I could get as far off on one side as possible and set my outriggers out on one side only. I don't have to deploy full outriggers. Uh, I could keep most of the outriggers on pad, hopefully. Uh, and then be able to swing around straight behind me. As long as I don't swing beyond the uh, zero degrees on the rear towards the other side, I don't have to have those outriggers deployed. Okay. Uh, so. Whatever, I don't think that'd be an issue because yeah, we're pulling the back trailer you, right up behind you. Yeah. And you come over. yeah. Whatever's easiest on getting you set up and best location is what we can go with. Okay. So, uh, I. We'll, I'm used to working on unstable surfaces, so it's it's not a problem. Okay, uh, but we'll we'll watch that. Uh, we're watching watching the weather today. Yeah. Um, hopefully the winds stay died down before we get picked up. Um, we've already rigged the generator. Um, we've tried to accommodate the sharp edges with some some other rigging and some things to keep them from getting cut. Um, once we get picked up, before, once we get the crane picked up, we'll get the trailer in, in where we want to get it and make sure that that's going to work before we get in the air. Okay. Um, and after that, we'll get the load secured. Um, I've got... I was going to say, if you don't have tag lines, we've got rope in the so truck that we can use as tag lines. So, so if you guys want to sign this and date it, all, I've, all I added was the operator, so we just have to sign okay. back here. One can sign there and one can sign on the next page. Sign date, please. Yep. And so, will one of you guys be sig signalman and one will be operator? Is that how? I'm operator, yep. Okay, so we just need to designate one signal person. Um, whoever that is, just you guys make sure you're on the same page with your signals and what, what you mean or what your signal you know. Sherman. Okay. So talk and make sure that you guys are on the same page with what signals mean what, what you guys are going to do. Okay. If we stay <laughs> this side of the conduit, oh, it should be able to just back Everything. that trailer. Once you get it <laughs> up in the air, yeah. back that trailer right here and just set it back down. That way you only got to move five feet. I would think. We probably could. Or we may even be able to just kind of back in where Luther's mule is at. And it's just a very small swing and set. Well, once I have this thing suspended, if it's only 11,000, like you say, I don't have any problem 
swinging it. Oh, okay. <clears throat> no you problems. Have load readings in that. Yeah, it, uh, I have a, a digital chart okay. that shows me my load capacity, shows my actual uh, tip load, uh, shows everything. Okay. I can show you the screen <clears throat> when we get her started if you want. Yeah. Uh, but it's all digital display. It shows how much weight I actually have picked. And then it has a bar graph that shows uh, what percentage of my capacity I'm at. Uh, shows degree of angle, shows boom out, everything. Uh, okay. It's all all digital. All right, that'll be good. Um, Luther is our lift supervisor. Um, Sherman is going to be our, our signalman. Um, you're the operator. Yes, sir. Um, everybody else, obviously, don't be giving signals. That's only Sherman, but everybody giving all stop. If you see something going on, that can be anybody. Um, that's pretty much it. Set up. Okay. Get you set up and we'll go from there. Main thing is where where you want me to set up at, and do you want a single hook point or a tandem hook point? I can do multiple hook points on that truck. Most most people in the crane industry use a single hook point. Mm -hmm. With that truck, I have the capability of at minimum of four point. I can do four points on that. <laughs> I think this is single. Single. Okay. Single will be fine. Okay. Looks like your straps are long enough that we can converge them and still do a single hook. Yeah, they're forty foot. We've got we've got twenties in the truck, but I don't. I think twenty be too short. Yeah, because your veer at at twenty, your veer is going to crush in on the top of the yeah. casing. All right, so I can I could probably if I bring my truck here to where my outriggers my outrigger. My front outriggers are the most important. They could probably set partially on that concrete pad there. And then me boom over to the side and then my rear outrigger be there. Worst case scenario, it may be a foot off the pad. But as long as that front outrigger, that's our, my main main concern anyway. Shouldn't be a problem. Okay. All right, so David, I'm, on, I'm just going to drive the truck straight up here. I want that front outrigger. I'm gonna hang that. I'm gonna hug that far side, there. Get my front outrigger so that whenever it stretches out, we get somewhere on this pad. Yep. I want to be on this pad, preferably the meatiest part of the pad, not on the edge. Okay. Not that it's a heavy lift by any means, but still, you want a good solid foundation. Right straight in front of us is the Ohio River. from my buddy at Pro Carry Trucker. Break them in here on this good lift. Oh, I think I should have all outriggers on. All outriggers be on. This is asphalt though, so it's not like the concrete. We may want to. There is, there's about that much asphalt and okay. then the rest is concrete. Underneath. Okay, so we're good then. We're good, all right, good deal. Uh, passenger side, get my poly mats. Just get two of them. There's two poly, or driver side. Driver side, sorry, yeah. They're right above the outrigger.
There you go. Coming down. Yeah, take me loose there if you would, please. Now hold on to that for a second. Okay. get these stretched out and get some slack drawn down on that white. I want to use the white for the pick. No, I, nope, I want to leave the block in. Do what, sir? Front outrigger on that side. No, sir. If I'm picking off this side, I just have to make sure that this outrigger is good. Primarily, the, these are adding stability to your lift, obviously, like any crane would be. Uh, but then your rubber and your tires the whole truck frame chassis is it, it's built differently than a crane it's just it's it's not a crane <laughs> mm. similar dynamics but this is able to pull towards you and lift really yeah oh yeah you can i can pull upwards of three hundred thousand pounds with this truck but i can't lift three hundred thousand pounds so you can straight line pull with your up. With my spades and everything down, if I can anchor this truck, I can pull over 300,000 pounds of resistance. That's where this thing differs. Big difference from a crane. Um, probably. Well, no. You're going to use one single D ring yeah. shackle? Okay. Do all that up top, I assume. Sun's trying to break through. That's what they're talking about. Who's who's going to be the rigger? I don't mind doing it. Just no, is, somebody, somebody's got to do it. He's wanting me to see if you swing over the rig and hook them all here, and then pull over top. Oh yeah, yeah, we knew that. I was trying to get it centered. Got 
coming overhead. You gonna try to straighten them up or? Yeah, try to get them straight if we can. Over your head, David. Hey, you have designated gentlemen on your tag lines? Yeah, I don't know if you put them on that sheet, actually. That... Did you designate anybody on the tag lines? No. Going up. Hey, Casey. You got that title work, Casey? Right. You enjoying our tag line. Just a second, let me get some winch in. I really, I really don't. Not okay. unless you, not unless you want to. Uh, I mean, if you got it, I'll keep an eye on everything and yeah. look. But the main thing is popping up off the bolts. We, right. we want to make, want to have guys on the tag lines when it pops up off the bolts. I, I'm judging that I'm pretty close to center. You look down here. It's pretty close. Yep. But anybody that wants to see it, this is the display screen. Shows uh, at, at this position, I can lift 26,000. Right now I have no load uh capacity just the weight of the boom right. uh, i've got 22 foot of boom out 37 degrees angle uh boom elevation angle and rotated 78 degrees off to the side so whenever we start lifting putting pressure on it sure. all right you guys ready on the tag lines all right we're going up watch as the load comes on up 
I can see right now we're a little bit forward. As the boom took pressure on, deflection, deflection of it, yep. So we straighten it back out. Our thing's down in there hard. There she comes. Yep. We're at 9K right now. She's loose. She's mine. Yep. That's less than we thought. All right, I'm off the ground. Where do you want your trailer? How far do you want him to come back with? I just have to skip over that. Right. Obviously, I want to stay as low to the ground as possible, but. Right. If we. Uh, I. This, will we have enough radius to go around that? Well, my boom travels five foot back, so from right there, I can come back. Here, let me just do it while we're at it. That'll give us extra room. Do what? I can swing around it. Yeah, might might be able to swing around it. I can also go flat down with the boom. We're gonna try to go around this, so let it spin a little. All right, bringing it around this way. Just nice and slow. I can take it up and flatten the boom down if we need to. We're clearing it good? Yeah, you got about a quarter. I think we'll be yeah. up. We're gonna come on around it, come on. Okay. If not, like I said, I can lay the boom out. I think we got it. We'll make it. Oh, you're you're fine. I know it's safe. I know it's a safety issue. I, I get it. This was the original trailer. This came on. Okay. These bolt holes. We could line them up, and we're gonna leave this thing on this trailer. Or at least get it get it close. close. Okay. Yeah, we we ought to be able to get you pretty close. Now, which direction does the machine need to face? Does it matter which? I would say let's put the back end back here because that's where the door is. Okay. We'll put this towards the front of the trailer. Okay. Let me get this back here and then I'll lift okay. straight up and then you guys just back under it. Alright. What do you say up to where it goes? The door would be on the back of the trailer. Only thing I'm thinking about though, would they have let that air hit that and go down the road? We'll see. We'll set it on there. If we got to pick it at our place, we can. We got cranes. I mean, it shouldn't hurt anything sitting there right now. Here. I, I just mean, was just thinking, you know, if they. It's gonna be pretty close. Well, it would make sense that your radiator would be on on the front end, your cooling end. Right. Okay. We're pretty close there. All right, I'm gonna come up. Everybody stand clear, except the tag man. All right, come on under. You gonna direct him? Coming down, slow. Now we've got the hole here and right here. Should be real close. I can shift it with this. We don't have to move the trailer. Yeah, this thing's proportional remote control. I can take it. Looks all right. We need to go forward with it some. Everybody, watch your fingers and toes. Well, you gotta look down. You, real close do you have a do you have a uh, a bar to drop down in there or bolt? We're real close right We're here. We're real close. That's, I think that's 
I mean, I mean, well, I got it. If you've got okay, some stuff to drop down in there. Yeah, we're. If you I got screwdriver. If you go in just a smidge, it would, it would line us up, I believe. Go in. Yes. In. May have some up here in the shop. Screwdriver. Your corner's already down, though. Yeah. Hold on. It's, well, that's okay. I can. I have to go up and in okay. just a hair. Well, I'm just right, right there on this one over yeah, here. It's, it's close enough. That's, I mean, really, we can move this thing around it. If we had a pry bar, they're going to look right now. Okay, so I'm right there on the way, uh, the hole. I'm damn near in mine. I don't know how they are on the back, but this one's really. Oh, you got it there. I got one in the front. Or in the back, we're good. We're really close. I think they want to look this up real quick. Okay. I had the trailers I trailers taken over here in the back. You got a bolt? I've still got 7k on. Okay. So trailer doesn't have all the weight yet. It does have some, so it won't it shift. What did we say? Nine? Wasn't that our final figure? Was nine K? When you had it up? Yeah. I don't know. I didn't see it. I okay, I I think it said nine thousand. Luther probably full of fuel too, isn't it? I don't know how much fuel it was. It's supposed to weigh 10. I'm wondering if it was full of fuel. Would we have that 10? That could be the. Difference. Could be. After we uh, unhook from here, do you think you can grab them steps and throw them in the back of the pickup? Yeah, if you want. Yeah. Sure. I appreciate it. No problem. Not a problem. I need to leave them down at Buck Point. But yeah. They could be used going on to the dig down there. Did you get us some good picks? Got yeah, some, yes, sir. You get some more. The whole truck? Yeah. Okay, cool. Get, hey, David, get some from the uh, get some from the riverside. Looking this way at it. I got wire tie right here. Okay. What's that rig cost, Ron? That one. Uh, if we were to have to replace that right now, it'd be three quarters of a million. Not include, not including all the rigging. There's rigging in there. Out, of, there's probably a hundred thousand dollars worth of rigging. That's what I first saw with your commercial. See, advertising pays. It does. <laughs> yeah. And if you use social media in the right way, it can help you. It can also hurt you. It can also hurt you too. Yeah. Yeah. As bad as it is, if if anybody doesn't like it, that's where they can hurt you. Oh yeah. Y'all just tell me when you're let, ready to let let her go. They still looking for bolts, I guess. I think so. Okay. There was some bike over there in the other. Uh, yeah. I'm going to lock the controller out for now since we're looking. I'm going to shut it down. Need me to yeah, let me get get the remote fired back up. I had it locked out. I've got a hammer. If they need it. You can go ahead and put that back up, I think, David. So I can probably boom in and we can bring those straps right back here behind us and re undo all the rigging. Is there bolts in the other side? There's one on the rear. Yeah, both both corners on this side have got bolts in them. Yeah, 
don't know if we could wiggle that enough to get this in there and on. Here. Hold on just a second. Ready, ready to sit down? All right, coming down. Trailer's going to take the weight. Good tires? <laughs> All right, as of now, the trailer has every bit of the weight. Are you good? Okay. Uh, it's a family company. Mom and Dad started it. I'll bring it all down here to us. I'll bring it all right down here to us. No need to climb when we don't have to. Okay, now you want to go over and grab the steps too, yeah. you said? Give me that 20 footer, yeah. I've got all kind of rigging in here too. <laughs> we got so much rigging, it's ridiculous. If we cut something or wreck it, it's not a big deal. Really? That's what concerns me about synthetic is, you know, your shear factor cutting sure. something. I've got a lot of synthetic. I mean, I use a lot of synthetic. Yeah. Uh, ours is quite a bit heavier, but like here's one of the yeah. big, big boys here. Oh, we got ones that are. Oh, yeah. Dead. Yeah. <laughs> this is the biggest one I carry. Yeah. 50 in a basket. 50 in a basket. Yeah. But like I said, I've got I've got four winches on the boom, and a lot of times I'll do a multi-point pick instead of a single point pick. The rigging options on this are just almost unlimited. The way it looks, I've been looking at the just wild. Depends what, on your is knowledge. This a custom? Huh? Is this a custom design or uh well no, they they make these out of the factory. Oh, really? This one was specially made for us, but they make others just like it. That trolley on the bed, that's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Uh, just this year, this is a 50 ton unit. Just this year, Miller Industries out of Chattanooga, which is the same people that build this, came out with a 100 ton unit. This has five foot of travel. That 100 ton has 12 feet of travel inside the bed. But, wheel weight on the ground is 108,000. That's what I'm saying, I wonder, you can't go too many places. No, not without a permit. Can you swing on that side with no outriders with no load? With no load, yeah. Yeah. Because those don't weigh 100 pounds at best. The only thing I'm swinging is the weight of the boom. Here, let me speed the winches up. Pretty well centered. You wanna redo it? Okay, now where do you want to go with it? Uh, 
I can't reach over the machine. I don't have enough reach for that. Here, guys, let me swing it around to the back, and then that gives him room to come in. You just put him wherever. Okay, I'm on. I'm on. <laughs> Travel the boom forward. Hey, if it's got a high enough limit, let me make a call. <laughs> You're back there for a new truck, ain't you? That's pretty cool. Just trying to get enough reach out there to get him swung in without hitting this pickup. Let me get over there closer and see where I need to be. Can you? Up and away! So David, is that your first uh, official safety briefing? No, we did the on one job. at the, uh, the sub section. Oh, that's right, that's right. Those are a little small I forgot scale, about this. Scale, yeah. Well, this is a lot, this was different job. I'm not gonna say bigger, just different. <laughs> yeah, the other one was more for electrical shock. Yeah, the other one was uh, you screw up and you're dead. Yeah. <laughs> Front coming up. Rear coming up.
BTO out, everything good to go. What else y'all need from me? Well, we appreciate the work. We really do. Very professional. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, sir. Glad to glad to do the work. Glad to be able to help. Thank y'all yep. very much. We don't get to see anything like this very often. Really? No problem. I'll get uh, get the info here and we'll get her done. Again, we appreciate the work. We really do. I love interesting stuff like this. I mean, just different off the wall jobs. Not that it's that big of a job, but still it's interesting. It's kind of thinking outside the box. Oh yeah. <clears throat> otherwise we'd have had to rent a crane out of Paducah. Really? They'd bring it out and it's here all, you know, all day and then they gotta take it back. And... It's like, well, let's try this. <laughs> now, that, that, that's part of the versatility of these. Yeah. You know, they can lift heavy weights close in and at low boom angles, right. you know? So you've got a lower overhead clearance than you would with a crane. Uh, we work inside of a lot of uh, buildings sometimes simply because of the low overhead where a crane can't get in. Yep. Moving machinery uh, around, it's, it's proves challenging sometimes. <laughs> Let me go get the paperwork. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there she is. Set on a trailer ready to go. As always, thank you for watching and God bless.